Are you looking for the formula to figure out the length of your guy wires for your next antenna project? Well, stick around. I'll show you how it's measured right here on K4SRF Ham Radio. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Steve here, Kilo 4 Sierra Romeo Foxtrot. Today, I'll be your instructor on figuring out the Pythagorean Theorem. That's the formula that we will be using to figure out the length of your guy lines for your next antenna project. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the formula that we will be using to figure out our length for our guy lines is the Pythagorean Theorem. That is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So let's go ahead and put this to an example here uh, with an antenna mass that we're going to put up. Okay. So let's go ahead and say we're going to build a mask, and we have an antenna project here. We got our ground. We're going to build. We're going to put up, let's say, a 40 foot uh, mass here. That's 40 foot. And we figure out that we're going to put our guy line anchor about 36 feet away right here, which is right about here. Let's say, For sake of argument, this is not drawn to scale. So we have our anchor here and our mast here. So. From there to there is 36 feet. Okay, now our mast is 40 foot. Let's go ahead and get our variables here. We'll use the mast as our variable A. Okay, B is going to be the ground or the distance between the mast and the uh, antenna anchor. C will be our antenna guy lines. That's going to be C. Of course, C is the unknown variable. But we're also going to guide this at 30, 20, and 10. 30, 20, and 10. So we'll need to figure out what we need for our lengths for these as well. All right, so we have our variables. We have our A, which is the mass, which is 40 foot. And let me just do this a little bit lower so you can see it. A equals 40 foot. B, our distance, is 36 foot. And C is our unknown variable. Let's go ahead and work this problem out. Okay, I already wrote down our variables here, A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and work this out. All right, we have like I said, the formula is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. It could be either upper or lowercase b, doesn't matter. So that's our formula right there. So let's go ahead and fill in our variables. C is an unknown, so we'll leave that as it is, C squared. A squared is going to be 40, in this case 40. Don't forget we have guy wires at 40 foot, 30 foot, 20 foot and 10 foot. So you'd have to run this figure or this calculation for each set of guy wires. It's not just one size fit all. So in this case, A at this point is 40, so it's 40 squared. All right. Plus B, which is 36 squared. All right. Let's go ahead and figure this out here. All right. 40 squared C. C squared. 40 squared is 1600 plus 36 squared. And I'm going to let you know that I'm cheating. I'm using a calculator on an iPad here because I am not going to do this in my head. Basically, squared, if you have remembered, uh, this is 1296. Just in case you forgot, squared, like in 36, squared is just the number times itself. So 36, 36 times 36. That's the same as 1,296. So it's just the number times itself. So we have A and B for this particular guy wire figured out. So C squared is equal to 1,600 and 1,296. And I'm going to just do this on a calculator real quick. I could do it in my head, but I know I will probably screw something up. Okay, the answer comes to 2,800 
and 96. So what we need to do is solve for c squared here. So let me go ahead and kind of clean my board off, and I'll just move over here. So c squared. So what I have to do is find out what the square of 2,896 is, and that'll be our c. And our square of that particular number is comes to 53, 53.8145, rounding it up. So your guy wire for the 40 foot to the uh, antenna mass, making a, a little, little one down here, 40 up here to here, is going to have to be about 53.8145. What I usually do myself is I'll add 10% to it, which is about uh, 3 feet roughly to that. So we'll go ahead and just add some add some footage to it. So I add about maybe three feet to it just to be on the safe side. So that'd be fifty-six, you can say fifty-six feet. And that will give you enough guy wire if you've measured your A, B, and C correctly. That'll give you your guy wire length. And that'll give you a little bit extra so you can trim off. And it's really, really kind of rough if you uh measure for fifty feet, for instance, or fifty-three feet, for instance, like here, and you end up a foot short. So let's go ahead and just give it a little extra, or just for a little leeway there. So that's how you figure out the calculations here. Now you would go back and do the same calculations again, uh, substituting for the 40 foot on A, you'd substitute and make this 30 foot. You know, this would be used next, then 20 foot and 10 foot. Uh, B, which is the length from the mast to the anchor, the 36 remains the same on this particular set of guidelines, so that will stay here, and you'll always be calculating for C. So the only variable that you will be changing is the actual uh, point of where the guidelines are being uh, attached here. So that's the only variable. Just go back and follow this uh, calculation, and you should be good to go. Okay, well, I hope that information's been helpful for you. I've had a couple of requests wondering how I figured out the length of my guy wires, so I figured I'd do this quick little tutorial on it. Uh, you can look it up as Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't going to go into the history or any of the details of the uh, function itself, but you can look it up. There, there are several videos out there, I believe, and uh, some other stuff online about how to figure out your antenna length or antenna guide length. So, again, hope it was helpful. And uh, catch you next time. Till then, this is Steve, Kilo 4, Sierra Romeo Foxtrot, 73.